Hello, my Libras. This is your daily for the 15th through the 16th. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. If you are interested in a personal, that information is down below the video, okay? How to contact me. We have study and learning. Thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. All right. So let's see what messages tarot has for my Libras today. Libra, what tarot messages do we have for my Libra friends today? Libra, what does Libra need to know? Hmm, looking for answers, I feel. Kind of looking back over the things that you've been through. Um, the things that you've been through, the things that other people have put you through, the things that you have endured. Um, and you're trying to figure out the best way for you to gain structure in your life um just be happy with where you are now i feel but also at the same time the hermit looks for the person that they're meant to be with okay Maybe a Gemini individual that you're dealing with. Maybe Virgo. Does not have to be. You may be on the cusp of Virgo. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles is also a very committed being. Okay. Um, they like relationships. That's where they function at their best, I feel, is in a relationship. Okay. But um, I think there is a lot that you are still needing to learn and know here. Because a hermit with the Eight of Swords, it's like there's a lot of things that you need to sort through in order to get where you want to be here with this Ten of Cups, having everything that you want with the person that you want, okay? Maybe a Pisces individual that's on your mind does not have to be. Let's see. Why is this happening for my Libras today? Hmm. I think you have, um, I think a lot of you feel very hurt and neglected by someone. I think um, you're trying to figure out like, you know, how can you have a very solid and stable start with somebody if they're not giving you exactly what you deserve here with the five and the ace, which is the six, okay? Of Pentacles and that is like receiving um, exactly what you're putting out like you having this equal you know this equal exchange with someone somebody that 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 gives you what you give them and it's like you're really trying to figure this out like how do you get to that point with somebody um, is somebody even out there that will offer something that is significant to you that you can accept and where you guys can start but it's like now I think you're at a point where you're just it's like you're trying to leave behind things that have bothered you before you're trying to even leave behind um, the thought of starting over I feel with someone here maybe Aquarius energy but it's like you're just wanting to move on. You're just really wanting to move on here. Um, I think you just want to stop, you know, focusing on this negative energy and just figure out how you can just be happy within yourself. But at the back of your mind is that Ten of Cups. Um, I feel being happy with someone. But now you're just trying to, you know, keep your own stability in focus like concentrate on that let's see what the influence is for you guys hmm yeah you don't want somebody that is like very lackluster or somebody who has a wandering eye is what i'm feeling because this king of pentacles is like looking away from the, the queen of swords and the queen of swords is willing to defend you know her pos position here her stature here um, not allowing anybody to infiltrate what it is that she wants for her life willing to cut out people that do not vibe on the same level with her you know not on the same accord 
It's like, you know what? Because this is you. This is you being very, um, very logical, very grounded, very stable within yourself. I mean, you, you have everything that somebody could possibly want. And so you want somebody that matches you, period. You're not going to accept anything less than that, period. Somebody that's, you know, wanting to commit, somebody that wants to be there for you, be supportive. Um, you guys be there together through thick and thin. Um, something that you deserve here. Let's see what the outcome is for you. I think this is going to lead to um, some confusion uh, for real. Just because it's like you know what you deserve. And I think that no, you're not going to settle for anything less. But I think you're trying to push down that, that want, that need to have somebody in your life. You're trying to push it down because you kind of feel like that person's not out there. Um the person that you want but at the same time it's like that is what you want so it's like you're kind of like having the struggle within you because you want love but it's like I'm not going to accept anything um, but I do feel like you guys will indeed too have options but you're going to have to figure out which one is right for you okay um, with that being said, I think that if, you know, you want to involve someone in your life, you need to be open to that and you need to like stay open to that um, and not be like closed off the next day. You know, don't go back and forth with that energy. Of course, you don't accept things that don't vibe with you or that um, behavior that's unacceptable. No, but you know, just because somebody has unacceptable behavior does not mean that everybody will. So don't close yourself off to the energy. Just be open. Okay. Just be open to studying and learning individuals as they present themselves. Okay. All right, my guys. So that's what I have for you. And I will speak with you soon.